and then depending on how your contract's laid out, there's a lot of money that that you will lose out on. And the NBA, yeah. if they give a five year contract that too, and then they cut you or put you on the bench, whatever like that too, like that's why a lot of times they'll buy you out and everything too, because the teams have to do that because that's just the way the NBA is set up too. So mm-hmm. he is set. So he's like, I have 150 million, but even though he even though he missed eight games, which put put him under the under the threshold, which didn't kick in his bonus to get more money, he's like, I already have this, mm-hmm. so it doesn't matter. Even even though it's like, dude, like, just you missed out freaking how much, how many millions of dollars because you just didn't want to, you know, do the right thing. And then the other thing too, like he lost he lost contracts, so the contracts they have they have better clauses for that one too. But he already has the bulk mm-hmm. of his money, and he's twenty three, yeah, so he's he's not thinking about that because like I think about it like it's funny like like with Sebastian right too. If I say hey you messed up, so we're like we're like we're not going here anymore. Mm-hmm. He, doesn't matter because he's not, not doing it. Now, if we still go to the place, like say like we go to like an amusement park and then I make him sit down and not ride anything, then he's like, oh man, I really messed up. Mm-hmm. True. No, you got no, you got a good point there. You got a good point there with that. Um, yeah. The, he's, he sounds like a loose cannon who doesn't care. Um, but be careful. Oh yeah, there we go. So pretty much he had $193 million $193 million of guaranteed money. And then, but pretty much he uh, lost out on uh, pretty much, we'll say almost $40 million because he, since he got suspended. Um, because because uh, he, he's got $231 million if he got selected to the all NBA team. Mm, okay. So, yeah, that's tough. Whew, that's tough. That's crazy. He, <clears throat> what I want to say, um, like, because he lost the Nike money. Well, he hasn't lost the Nike money. He lost the Powerade money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, like, uh, uh, I think it was, like, um, I forget who the name of the guy is. But he's like, it's not like Powerade can come take that Powerade back out of my crib. You know what I'm saying? Like, like no, we already have that. The Nikes, we already have those. You know, he's like, but future earnings and future endorsements and stuff, everything going down the line, like he's gonna, you're gonna lose out on so much, especially when you're on the. Um, but he's like, this stuff doesn't go away. It's when you're going, when you're on the back end of your career, or you're ha- having a downturn, people are just gonna turn to this. Yeah, you know, so well, God for, he's like, God forbid you have an injury next season. He's like you're done. Well, that's but he has a he has a 193 guaranteed and he's 23, so he doesn't care. And that's what it comes because I'm I'm reading this right now too. So September 2022, um, mm-hmm. is it he punched a 17 year old um kid during a pickup basketball game at Moran's home, right? And then because mm-hmm. because they were they were talking shit to each other during the game, right? And then he said this the 17 year old yeah. you know accidentally hit Morant, right? And then Morant punched him and knocked him to the ground, right? And then yeah. he was already on the ground. And he hit him. He hit him a couple more times, <laughs> you know. What? And then and then there was like, okay. And then they're saying on after the alt- altercation, he went inside and came out with a gun in, in his waistband. And then before that, four days kid. before that, yeah. Well, and then and then four days before that, uh, so he went and threatened someone who worked at Finish Line finish line yeah i remember that that was wild that was wild so, they, he ran in there with a gang of people like eight eight nine are, people for a minor working at finish line yeah and that's the thing too so it and maybe and and this is on draws to um and, and this, if this is true this is on moran's mom because I guess um, you know he claimed his mom got in a verbal altercation with the employee at finish line inside the inside the store, and then called Morant for backup. And then Morant entered the, the mall with the entourage with at least nine people, and was confronted by the head of security, and he, and he didn't want to leave, and he was, then he was threatening the guy too. So what? and Hold then, on. Hmm? they got too much money for that, like. That's just that's buy the my damn point. shoes, buy the damn clothes, and leave. No, that's the, the thing is, <laughs> or just don't matter. at all. Order the order the shit online. You're rich. So, so if if that is true, that's bad on Moran's mom. 
But also, like you said, yeah, you right. Memphis Grizzlies, you signed this freaking contract for, and so yeah, and this was a five year extension for 193 million dollars guaranteed. So yes, yeah, so that's the thing. That was in July of 2022. The finish line was in September of 2022. So you are multimillionaire and because someone like you need to do baller shit like i'm saying your your mom has a, has an issue with someone at finish line you buy the damn store you don't go like oh i'm bringing an entourage to go fucking fuck with a fucking minor like this is some dumb ass shit that's fucking beneath you yep yeah yeah and that does that does sound pretty cool yeah. Buy the store and fire the dude day one. So you walk in, yeah, I'm the owner now. Get out. That's that is pretty bald. I, I would like to do that. That that's that's pretty good. That's a good idea. I'm feeling that. No, I'm feeling like, that a lot. I need to buy some stores. Yeah, no, that you buy the store then fire the guy. Like that, that like that's what you fucking do. Or you go, hey. Are you called the storm by hi? Or have your representative, someone from the Grizzlies said, Hey, I am John Romance, um, John Morant's representative, uh, employee, well, insert name here, was very disrespectful to Miss Morant's mother, like that too. It was very unbecoming to any customer, let alone John Morant's mom. 